Meteorologist Adam Solarzik here. We look at your Sunday night forecast. Some partly cloudy skies for the evening hours and a few isolated lingering showers and areas of drizzle. Overall, a drier evening than what we saw for much of the daytime. And mostly cloudy skies settle in for the overnight hours and a few areas of patchy fog to start off your Labor Day. And we'll start off with mostly cloudy skies as well. That fog does start to burn off and we'll see some peaks of sun for the afternoon and evening hours. At times, mostly sunny, but generally we'll call it partly cloudy across the area for the evening and overnight hours, those clouds kind of build back in with the humidity remaining in place. The winds continuing to stream in out of the south. High temperatures on Monday afternoon getting up near 80 degrees, so a little bit warmer than we have been the past couple of days thanks to that increase in sun and those winds from the south. And then by the time we get into Tuesday, out ahead of a cold front that moves in Tuesday night into Wednesday, our temperatures continue to climb into the low to mid 80s in some spots with mostly sunny skies at times before those clouds start to build in late in the day. And then we'll see those rain chances Tuesday and Wednesday, and some of those storms could be on the stronger side, so it's something to be aware of as we go throughout the beginning part of this week. Here's a look at the exclusive 10 day forecast. Labor Day, nice 80 degrees with partly cloudy skies, still partly cloudy for Tuesday with those rain chances, as I mentioned, late in the day right now at 20%. Higher chances overnight into Wednesday. Everything's out of here, though, by sunrise on Wednesday with mostly sunny skies, 77 down to 73 on Thursday in the mid 70s for Friday and Saturday with partly cloudy skies and down near 70 degrees only for highs on Sunday and Monday of the following week.